uh, the next set of uh, theories, uh, in fact, we are going to study only one theory, but the set of theories that is uh, part of the process theories. Process theories are uh, other theories, uh, <clears throat> set of theories that basically focus on the um, identifying the agenda, why people uh, choose a certain behavior in order to achieve their personal goals and uh, uh, what influences their behaviors. So these the theories be focusing on the behaviors of the people that why they act in a certain way to achieve their goals. These theories are called process theories. We are not going to study all process theories that are not part of our syllabus. We are going to study only one theory that is called expectancy theory. Expectancy theory has been introduced to us by Victor Room. Uh, Victor Room is the only alive theorist among us wherever we have studied. Um, we have studied a lot of theories and Room is only person who is still among us, uh, luckily. <clears throat> Uh, Victor uh, Rome uh, came up with the idea that workers can be motivated uh, by a few factors and they, if they believe that there is a positive link between their uh, effort and performance, it means that if they are working hard to achieve things, um, they are assured about that their hard work will result in the achievement of those, those goals that they want to achieve. So I'm writing, uh, there is a positive link there is a positive link between effort and performance it means that if you believe that you are working hard and as a result of that you will get an a in uh, business exam in final examination. Um, it means that you, uh, if if you believe that there is a positive link, you will be more motivated to work. And if you believe that whatever effort you put, you won't get a good grade. It means your motivation level will be low. We'll be talking about that uh, maybe uh, in, in a short time. We'll be talking about the details of that too. Um, secondly, the favorable performance will result in the desirable rewards. Favorable performance. will result in desirable rewards. I was saying favorable performance, the second aspect, the favorable performance will result in the desirable rewards. It means that they are expecting something from the organization that they should be rewarded for something if they are working hard. And third important thing, uh, the reward will satisfy uh, their some important need. The rewards will satisfy their some important need. And the fourth one, the uh, desire to satisfy the needs desire to satisfy the needs is strong enough uh, to make the effort worthwhile now what does it mean we'll be shortly talking about to make the effort worthwhile. His expectancy theory is based on three uh, factors. One is the valence from these, the points I have written, I'm drawing this. Valence. Valence is called the depth of want. the depth of want. If you actually want to have something, your effort to achieve that thing will also be high. You will be making more work to achieve that. Uh, the depth of desire of an employee for an extrinsic reward, for example, money, or for an intrinsic reward, such as satisfaction, both will lead to making more effort. 
So if the depth of want is high, he actually want to increase his salary. For example, he will be making more effort. And if the depth of want is low, it means that he will be making less effort. Simple. For example, you want to get admission into a very good university. The, de the depth of want is high. You want to get admission in that university in any case. For example, in Harvard, your effort will be high. And if you do not, if you say, okay, if I get admission in Harvard, then it, okay. If I do not get, then also it's okay. Your effort level will be low. The second is expectancy. The degree at which people believe that their effort will result in the achievement of the performance or the goals. The degree of belief that the effort will result in achievement of goals no um, um, you want to get admission into university and you want to get an a star in a levels and you might have some resources available to score an a star you have a teacher that is teaching you you have resources books papers and all that uh, that are helping you out to have a good grade in business in a levels <clears throat> Uh, that are increasing your expectations that you will score a better grade in business. But if resources are not available, for example, if teacher is not available, for example, if the environment is not helping you, for example, though your expectancy to achieve that stuff that you want to will be low. In organizations, we relate this expectancy uh, to the right resources available. For example, to achieve something, a manager or a worker uh, might need a few employees with him that are skilled enough. If the employees are available to him, his expectancy will be high, otherwise low. He might need some raw material. He might need some uh, time. Uh, it also depends on his own skill level. If he is skilled enough to achieve those uh, to achieve those skills, uh, his expectancy will be high. Otherwise, will be low, and um, uh, there might be some uh, necessary support from the management uh, to achieve that um, uh, job done. Uh, to have that job done, for example, supervisor support, for example, to um, providing him the correct information. If he's doing all that, his expectancy will be high. Otherwise, his expectancy will be low. Coming to the third variant after valence and expectancy, that is called instrumentality. What is this instrumentality? that the confidence that the employee has that if they actually achieve that stuff that they want to achieve, if they actually achieve that objective that they want to achieve, they will get what they desire. Uh, they, they are thinking that they, if they achieve that goal, their salary will be increased. Okay, if they actually believe that their salary will be increased, their instrumentality will be high. Belief that uh, the outcome that the result that they have achieved in uh, as a result of expectancy result will lead to the achievement of performance will lead to uh, their desired outcome for example increase in salary even if the manager has promised that that i'll surely increase your salary if you do this what they believe if they really believe that uh, uh, this uh, uh, achievement uh, will um, uh, he will fulfill his promise their instrumentality will be high and if they believe that okay manager has promised so many times like this but he will not fulfill his promise their instrumentality will be a low uh, instrumental uh, this this may also be called instrumentalization of the goals uh, uh, this instru high instrumentality uh, may be result of something, for example, a clear understanding of the relationship between uh, possible uh, outcome and performance. Clear understanding of uh, relationship 
between performance and outcome. Trust in the people, for example, trust on the manager. If you have trust that he will fulfill his promise, although he has made promise that he has made promise that I'll increase your salary. If you trust that he will surely increase the salary, uh, the trust will make the instrumentality high and people will be making more effort and uh, transparency of the process. You believe that whatever you have done will be named after you and it will be considered your achievement and financial rewards will be given to you. Uh, that will be called uh, transparency in process and this will also increase your effort towards the business. <clears throat> now, Rome said that uh, if uh, even one of the conditions or the beliefs is missing, workers will not have enough motivation to do the jobs. Uh, these the the uh, the combination of these all three will create the motivation among the employees. So according to room, uh, manager should try to ensure that the employees believe that increased work effort will improve the performance. They will create such an and they should create such an environment where the performance should be increased. And if the performance is increased, they should they should re reward the promised or even the expected stuff that was expected by the worker. Uh, this was the uh, last theory of the uh, motivation stuff.